In this episode of Sailing Copycat, we finish sanding and fiberglassing the hull and get all the anti-foul on, have a taxi driver take us to his dad's house to show us his sailboat, and finally make it into Nandi. It's Sunday morning and we're heading back to the boat to do some more work and Dad is going to play with the drone for a bit. Nope. Nope. He didn't bring the right cable to connect the iPhone. Dad is going to walk back to the, <laughs> <laughs> the unit and then play with the drone. Tomorrow. <clears throat> Tomorrow. I've already sent mine up um, yesterday afternoon and got a few shots, so maybe we'll insert here and we'll get some work done. So we're back at the but uh all the epoxy's nice and hard, ready for sanding. <clears throat> and dad's gone through yesterday and sanded these guys back a little. And nothing too crazy, just so it's a bit smooth. I think we'll try and put some um, protection on that. I'm not sure if we've got some or we need to buy some. So we'll look through the boat. All the keel epoxy has hardened nicely and just needs a little light sanding. And we've decided we're going to sand these keels back. Um, not completely, but just take all the rough, like high spots off them. And then we've got a fair bit of, like a full tin of red anti foul. So I think we'll paint the rudders and the keels red, and then we'll touch up the hulls with the leftover black we've got. Dad's just got the first coat of blue on the sail drives. Bright blue. And the first coat of blue on the hull and anode and everything around it. Yeah. This one's done too. And we've got to leave it six hours apparently and then do another coat and six hours and one more coat. And then they should be done. You having fun, man? I would call it more regretting buying a big boat. <laughs> Maybe a little dinghy would have been better. Easier to paint. Well, there's a dinghy on the back. No, I'm not painting that too. <laughs> could be a worse place to be doing it, though. Yeah, I could also think of better things to be doing while we're here, though, too. <laughs> like exploring but we'll get there so <clears throat> I've done um, rudder there I won't take you too close because it's pretty ho horrible um, and yeah I won't really go into what glass I used as it was just whatever was on the boat uh, I did two layers which I think should be plenty until we do the next haul out and um, then we'll give everything a tidy up. Dad's done another coat of blue on the sail drives and he's sanded down the bottom of the keels as Hans used to just beach 
uh, to do the anti fouling. And so obviously the bottom section of the keels would be in the sand, so he'd never get that bit. So Dad's just been sanding that down, ready for some anti foul. And we ran out of black yesterday, and so we've got a whole tin of red there. So we want to just use up what's on the boat so we can clean it up and make it look a little bit respectable. And you can see that this one's not in as great a condition as the other one, but it's about ready for paint. So we're getting there. I'm gonna start mixing up the paint. Can do, yep. You having fun yet, Dan? Oh yeah, ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm ready for Beach some. wiping bums. Yep. It would, it would. Beats crawling in roofs too. Yep. I haven't done that for a, quite some time. Other than at Kim's house. Let's see how red this red is. Might be a black red. to tell. I've finished coating the rudder and the keels. I wouldn't call that colour red, more of a burnt orange. I can't say I like it, but I didn't have to pay for it. Hans was telling us that when he got it, he got it really cheap. And I think now I know why he got it so cheap. It looks like it's straight off a um, oil tanker. But I'll use it. At least till we can get something different for the next one. And still just waiting on the rudder to dry. I don't think this is going to be dry enough to do anything with today. <clears throat> but it looks like everything else under here is good to go. So it'll just be tomorrow. I'll sand down some of the high spots on the rudder and then give it a coat of paint and we're ready to go back in and we don't go back in till Wednesday afternoon so that means that we should be all done and be able to have some time off to go and explore a little we do have the guys coming and they're gonna do up here, this, I think he's calling it the Seagull Striker. Um, which is just this bit that goes across there and across to that side. At the moment it's done in um, Dyneema rope. And we were told by the riggers that that should be 16 mil stainless steel wire. So, um, the price we were given, is, as, as far as I'm concerned, pretty competitive. So I thought we'll just get in and um, get them to do it while we've got it here on the hard stand. And that way it's one less thing we have to worry about for later. We checked this yesterday and it looked pretty hard. Now it's definitely hard and ready to sand. Well, I've finished sanding down the rudder. Doesn't look much looking at it, but it's nice and smooth. And it's gonna be strong. Oh. I also took a little chunk out of my finger with the grinder, but you get that. 
so Dad's just mixed up the paint and just hitting them up to get the paintbrush and we'll get this thing painted and then on to the next challenge of the day. We've just finished the last coat and we've just packed up all our stuff and we're about to head off to try and go and get the paperwork done and then into Nandi. The backpack's on and we're heading into Nandi. So we've been to the office and done a bunch of paperwork. Well, not all of it, we're missing some of the stuff, um, but Hans is out and about at the moment, so we'll wait for him to get back and we'll sort the, paper, the rest of the paperwork out tomorrow. And Dad and I are gonna head into Nandi and go for a wander and hopefully pick up some nice pineapples while we're there. What do you reckon, Dad? Yep, good Sounds day. like a good plan. Good day for it? Yep. And some pawpaws. Hmm. The pawpaws we've had have been really nice tasting, but they're really little. So the tasty meats kind of um, not a lot. It'd be good to get a nice big juicy one. So they want sixty dollars, which is double what we paid to get here. So we'll we'll go and get a buff. I think. Thanks. So not ideal. I was hoping for a taxi because that'd be a lot quicker. But for sixty dollars, when it cost us thirty to get here from the airport, I would have expected the other way around. We just went and saw the office. They don't have any schedules for the buses, but apparently they come by every hour or so. So <laughs> we're wandering down to wait for a bus and on our way past the taxi drivers came up and told us they'd give us the very special deal of $50 so that's still a hard no but <laughs> at least they tried so you got to give them that one but I don't mind walking on a day like this this is spectacular not too hot Nice breeze. Yeah. I should have put some sunscreen on. Yeah. <laughs> My solar panels are gonna cop a beating today, but at least they'll be recharged. <laughs> Waiting for the bus and found a taxi for 40. So we just got picked up and brought back to the taxi driver's place where he showed us his dad's sailboat and now we're jumping in the um, car with his dad and his dad's gonna take us into Nandi and we were told that he'll stay there and wait and bring us back but I think that might be a bit pricey so we'll, we'll see how we go. How you going? What do you reckon, Dad? You could live here? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Great spot to retire. And mm. then have to buy a jumper. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna drop you here. So you can make it go see market, vegetable market. Yep, perfect. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. 
And like that, we're in Nandi. So we got dropped off opposite the markets. And then I think we'll just take a walk and head in through town and see what we can see. What do you reckon, Dad? Take yeah. a wander through town? Yeah, I think so. It's nice to get out and go for a walk. We haven't been doing a lot other than walking from the cottages to the boat, from the back boat again. back to the cottage, <laughs> from the cottage to the restaurant. And then so, back to the restaurant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's good to get out and about. In the next episode of Sailing Copycat, we meet in the man. and have a carver ceremony, get to meet the inspirational Timo and Joe from Sailing NV, and find ourselves some new comfortable mattresses for the boat.